So this lesson is about investigating the relationship between voltage and current. Now, voltage really comes from, is really generally the source of that would be a, a cell or a battery so far than we've been looking at. Uh, it's not something we covered so much. At GCSE, we actually start using the word potential difference, but we'll stick with voltage while we're in key stage three. So what I'd like you to go back to now you start off, but this time, instead of going onto the intro, please click on lab because there's a particular feature in lab that I'd like us to be able to use today. So we'll double click on here and we will go and we will start creating our first circuit. So as usual, we're going to start off, we're going to add, I'll put my switch in this side today. It doesn't matter which side the switches go, as long as there's no full circuit, there's no current going. Now here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab in this ammeter over here. This is really, the reason I want you to use this one is because uh, the other type of ammeter we're using, it doesn't really exist, that just helps us work on the model. This is the sort of ammeter that you need to use in a real circuit. It plugs in one side and the current comes out the other side, so you've actually got the sort of inline measuring of the current. We're going to use here a, a resistor and we're going to finish this round. We're going to go up here, bring this down, and one more wire, and there we go, let's close that circuit. And what we've got is our current flowing around the circuit. Here we can see the electrons, and the current is labelled as 0.9. So in this particular example, what I'd like you to do, we're going to measure the potential difference, or what I call the voltage. We're going to stick with voltage, I suppose, from now on across here. So to do that we're going to use a voltmeter. Now the voltmeter doesn't have any reading on it at the moment so to measure the voltage across here we put one on one part of the wire here across the resistor and one on the other side of the resistor. And the voltage here is 9 volts. Now I can just show you this because the voltage is actually exactly the same as the because it's the only component. So this is a 9 volt battery we put these two together, well, a voltage of zero, because there's no voltage across a wire. If we put them on both this side, we get a voltage of zero. Because voltage is the difference in energy, really. It's a measure of the difference in energy between, for, as the electrons give up their energy as they go through a device. So what we're going to do in this one, we're going to do our, our investigation with a... 50 ohm resistor. So if you want to click on the resistor and we take the resistance up to, oh, there we go, 50 ohms. There you go, you can actually do it there as well, like that, if you want to get. And we're going to set the voltage to 20 volts. We, there you go, I'm going to do it that way. So we've got a 50 ohm resistor and 20 volts. 50 ohm. 50 ohm resistor and 20 volts. And you can see I've got a current of 0.4 amps. So if you get to this stage now, all I want you to do here, it's, it's easier than in real life, because in real life it's a little bit more fiddly than this, but you've got to keep on now changing, click on here, change the, I'm gonna hide this now so you can't see, but I want you to change the voltage up to 40 volts, make any observations about what's happening, then go to 60 volts, 80, 100, all the way up to the maximum, which is a 120, and record your results there. Once you've recorded your results, please put them, please put them back in, please put them in the table, and then if you could, even plot a nice graph on there. Okay, task two change the setup of this circuit a little bit just so it's slightly easier to work with. I'm going to get my ammeter up here. There's no real difference where I put the ammeter in. But this time I'd like you to add three, two more resistors. Two more resistors. So add, if you want three resistors in total. So I've got one resistor here now. I'm going to add another one in here and a, another one in here. Perfect need a few extra wires so we're going to do this so 
So you can see my nice three resistors. So this is a series circuit we're looking at here. And we close this down. Let's see, you can just about see everything's moving along here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you to just work on different voltages. Uh, the first four I've done on the table are 20, 50, 50, and 82. So we're going to set this initially to 20 volts. Well, there we have it already. I've asked you to set the first resistor to 10 ohms. Well, that's the one it comes in at. That's good. I've asked you to set the second resistor to 20 ohms. And I've asked you in the table to set the third resistor to 50 ohms. Oh. Done. So this is the setup. If you look in the table in your in your question sheet that I've asked you to do, the first one is 20 volts, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 50 ohms. And now if you look, you can see what the current is. The current is 0.25, so you should be able to check that that's correct in your table, 0.25. But interestingly, I've asked you to measure the voltage across the three resistors. So how would we do that? Well, the first thing we do is for resistor number one, we do it here. This is the voltage or potential difference across the first one, the 10 ohms, and it's 2.5 volts. Let's do it for the second one now. Don't forget to move both of them. Just go to the wires just before the resistor. And this one has five volts. And the third resistor has a voltage of 12.5 volts. So what can we see here? Well, we've actually got 2.5, 5, and 12.5. If you add all those up, you'll get back to 20 volts, which goes in your final column. So that's what your work should look like. So the next one is you're going to change the voltage to 50 for the second one you're going to set 10 20 and 50 and do the same again then i want you to do 50 20 35 then i'm a bit more bizarre 82 30 82 volts 37 ohms 42 ohms 39 ohms and then i'd like you to just investigate two more so make up some you decide what the battery voltage is you decide what the resistance is for the three resistors and put your own results in there. Hopefully you'll start to see patterns appearing there in your work and that will be great. Um, if you want to, once you've finished your work, uh, this is a nice little cell here, this one, this battery here. Uh, this battery goes up to a thousand volts so you might want to have a little play with that and see see what it does. Uh, it's a bit safer than doing it in, um, in, in the real world, We're using high voltage on, on a demo. And then there's some other t extension tasks that you might want to look at here because there's a few more there's a few more features in here that maybe you could just play around with if you're feeling confident and you've consolidated your learning already.